afternoon, everyone. We're on the rock, Bishop. And I think it's saying. And that rock is? Jesus Christ. Yes, God's? Only son. Yes, The rocks Lord. of ages. Yes, 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 Lord. We're excited. We're excited. Yes, we miss our special guests, but we know that God is able, and we know that he is where he needs to be on today. But we're going to go on in the name of Jesus, and we're going to go to the Word of God. So get your Bibles. Get your Bibles. Our wonderful viewing audience, get your Bibles. And we're going to go to St. Matthew's, the 16th chapter, beginning at verse 13, and the operative verse is verse 18. Get your Bibles. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God is a good God, and I'm just so happy that he awakened me this morning. Yeah. And when I was awakened, I found that I was able to think, I was able to create. Yes. Here is God's word. Yes. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say, that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed are oh, thy, Simon huh? Barjona, for flesh and blood. <laughs> Had not revealed it unto thee, yes. but my Father, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. And I say unto thee, that thou art Peter, mm -hmm. and upon this rock, upon this rock, I will build my church. I will build my church. And the gates of hell yeah. may not, shall not, shall not. <laughs> don't get it twisted. Yeah. Shall not prevail against yes, it. Yes. Thus read the word of God. Yes. And God's word is blessed. We need to do it, live by it. Yes. Amen. Amen. And at this time, praise God, we're going to have our psalmist, Bishop King James Underwood, give us a song or two of his choice. First, I would like for him to give uh, do the, the Our Father's Prayer, and then I know this is the Christmas season. Yes. And he's going to do whatever God puts up on his heart as what? it relates to this season. Amen. How Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us of our debt, as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not and to temptation, but deliver us from evil. O oh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is right, run young virgin mother and child. 
tender and mild, sleep in an heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly peace. Yes. And the taxes was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And yeah. all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Yes. Because he was of the house and lineage of David to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be lit delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in, in the, the end. end. Yes. And there were in the same country mm -hmm. shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Nine. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, mm -hmm. for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy we shall be to all people. For un you, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. Yes. And that's 14. Let me do 15, then we'll go back to 1. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us not go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass with the Lord, which the Lord has made known unto us. 16. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying, lying in a manger. 17, and when they, <laughs> I don't want to stop with <laughs> and when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning mm. the child. Yes. 17, let's go back to one. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augusta that all the world should be taxed. Now, what is this all about? Birth and childhood of Christ. 
Let's talk well, a little bit about that, Bishop. Well, there was a lot of prophecies uh, of, of Jesus' birth, even in the psalmist and, and in the book of Isaiah, talked about the coming of Christ way before uh, Christ was manifested in the flesh. Uh, we find that uh, God looked down and saw a little handmaid, and uh, she was a virgin. And, and uh, it, it was a Jewish custom in that day that, that if, uh, if you were a spouse uh, engaged to someone and uh, you were fine with a child, they stoned you to death. But uh, Ma Mary, when the angel Gabriel came to her and told her she was, high, he, she was highly favored of God and uh, she was going to be the mother of the Savior of the world, uh, Mary, Mary saying, how can this be to the angel? Seeing I never knew any man, so how can this be? And, uh, and, and Gabriel said, this thing that, that, that's going to happen to you is not going to be natural. It's going to be supernatural mm -hmm. because the Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you. And, and then that thing that's going to be conceived in you uh, is going to be the Son of God. And, and, and that's why you saw the angels uh, uh, sending, uh, coming down and ascending where the shepherds was and talking to the shepherds as they was watching their flock by night. And, and the shepherds were so afraid when they saw the heavenly ho a multitude of the heavenly hosts coming down, they, they thought the, the, the world was coming to an end. But, but when the angel spoke to them, uh, it, the angel brought glad tidings. For this day is born in Bethlehem of Judea a Savior. And, 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 and when they got to telling the shepherds about what was going on, they left their flock and went with haste to Bethlehem, and they found the Christ child lying in the manger, wrapped in swaddling cloth. And when he was laying in the cross in the manger, he was what? Quiet and peaceful, and everything around them was calm. Everything was calm. That's why Silent Night said, all is calm and all is bright. Everything was calm and peaceful. Even the cattle uh, the, and, 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 the, and the animal that was in the stable was quiet uh, when the birth of Jesus came forth. And, 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 and uh, the shepherds came in haste and found the child, and they, was, they, they were so happy, and they went away rejoicing and, 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 and knowing that, that the Savior is born. So they went, went and uh, had a great time. And, we see a lot of times we talk about the wise men and the shepherd at the stable at the same time, but according to the scripture, it was not so. When the wise men and the magi came to see Jesus, it was two years later, and Jesus was what? Back at his hometown in Nazareth. So they visited Jesus at his home, and they came to the house where he lived, and not in, 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 the sta in the manger, uh, 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 out at the sta in the stable where he was born, but he was at home because God has a way of working things out. There were so many scriptures in Isaiah and in Psalms talked about Jesus' birth and talked about uh, God said he was going to call his son out of Egypt. God said that, that he would be born in Bethlehem of Judea. And, 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 and also the scripture talked about him being a Nazarene. And uh, uh, how could be all, all these things in able different places? That's why the thing that happened in Jesus' birth was so unusual because Jesus was fulfilling all these prophecies. So when, 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 when uh, the wise men came where Jesus was, they opened their gifts and they gave him frankincense and myrrh and all kind of wonderful gifts. Uh, and, and, and Jesus was two years old. And Herod found out that Jesus was, was what? Born and that he was about two years old. He made a decree and started killing all the babies, for, ba male children from what? From, from, from one on, on, on down, uh, one on up, should I say. Uh, uh, and and uh, that, but they didn't get Jesus because God sent an angel while, while Joseph was sleeping and said, take your wife and the child and flee to Egypt. And, and when, 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 when the Herod is, is, is no longer in, in power, then I shall send for you. So Herod uh, 
uh, looking had all these children killed, and that, that scripture was fulfilled, Rachel weeping for her children, and they were not, and she could not be comfort, comforted because all these male children was killed, and that's what the scripture was talking about in Isaiah. So uh, we see that, uh, you can cut in any time. <laughs> you, we see that uh, uh, in, in, in this situation that, that Jesus was in Egypt, and Herod got up beside himself because they, they were saying that he was so great, and this is the voice uh, 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 of a God, and, he lifted himself up, and the angel smote him, and he was eaten alive by worms. And while he was yet living, the worms eat him, and, 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 and he died. And, and when, when, when he died, then God sent word to Egypt and told Joseph, he that sought the child's life is dead. They came back, and, they, they, and that's why Jesus was born, and, and he, he grew up in Nazareth. And that's why he was a Nazarene, because his life, lifehood was in Nazareth with his father, uh, earthly father and earthly mother. But we know that God was his heavenly father. So now that, that, that Jesus was in Nazareth, he grew up in, grew up in Nazareth. And there, there he became a Nazarene. And he was a Nazarite. And they said, Nazarite is a person that, that, that uh, is, 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 by, uh, is chosen by God, and their hair should not be cut. Not a lock of their hair should be cut. So he was a Nazar Nazar Nazarite. So in essence, that's why we see the picture of Jesus the way it was, because uh, he was a Nazarite. And some, some of the others, they, they had shorter hair, because they, they was not Nazarites. So in essence, we see that Jesus was special from his birth. And uh, when Jesus was born, something unusual happened. The, the heavenly host of angels came down and sung praises to God. Praises to God in the highest. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Because the Savior had come to, what? Deliver the people from their sin. Mm -hmm. A little child. The devil tried to destroy Christ through Herod, but he wasn't successful because God's plan always exceeds the, the earthly plan. So we see that uh, being a Nazarite, Jesus, Jesus was, was, was still in, in his father's care, and, and Jesus also was a carpenter because his father, father's trade was carpentry. So, so, so uh, that's why the song said the carpenter cleared the temple. When Jesus began his ministry, he went and they were selling and, and, and buying in, in the house of God. And, and Jesus took a cord and whipped them out of the house of God. And that's why they say the carpenter cleared the temple. So Jesus cleared the temple of all those that sold, sold doves and, and, and oxen for sacrifice in the temple. And, and he said, my father's house it's called the house of prayer, but you have made it a house, place of merchandise. Mm -hmm. You selling and buying in God's house and, and forgetting the purpose. It's the house of prayer. So Jesus did so many marvelous things. And uh, as he was growing up, we see that his lifestyle was a little different from all the rest of them around him because he was, what, chosen of God. And at 12 years old, he was in the temple speaking and talking to the lawyers and the doctors, those people who had all those degrees. And Jesus was 12 years old, and he was, what, asking questions and answering questions, and they were so amazed. How can this young man have all this wisdom? They didn't know that he knew everything because he was God, wrapped up in the flesh. And therefore, he was saying, saying to Mary and Joseph, I must be about my father's business. He was saying that it was time for him to be about that which God has sent him to do because Jesus only had a short time. He was here 30 and three years before he ascended back to the Father after his crucifixion. So we see that there's so many things that happened in the birth of Jesus that a lot of things in, in the world changed and a lot of shifts was made and a lot of people was uncomfortable because of the birth of Jesus. Herod, for one, because he thought that his heirship to the throne would be 
but cut short and his son will not be a heir to the throne after him. So if Jesus was a new king, then he was trying to destroy the new king that he would still be king. So we, we see that Jesus had, had, a, had a birth and Jesus from his birth went through a lot of things. Jesus was not born like everybody else. There was no room in the inn for Jesus. They had money to pay for the inn, but there was no room. So they had, had to go in the stable because Mary was so heavy with child, the innkeeper had compassion and said, we don't have any room in the inn, but, you, but you can, you're welcome to go in the stable. That's an unlikely place for a king to be born. But it was prophesied thusly, and yeah. so it had to happen that way. Because yeah. if, if maybe if he would have come, well, if he would have come, he couldn't have come any other way because it was prophesied that way. But if he would have come any other way in a kingly manner, then the plain old person would have felt it would have been too high for them. Yeah. So it couldn't have happened that way. And we'll read a little bit more. So uh, in, in essence, the, the plain person couldn't, so Jesus come in a humble manner, born in, in, a, oxen, in, a, in, in, a, in a stable and laid in an oxen manger. That means that, that, that he come lowly, yeah. that, that whosoever will could, could reach him. Yes. And that he didn't come only for the rich, but he come for the poor also. And, and, and the rich could always blend in, but the poor could not always go up to where the rich was. That's right. But That's the right. rich could come to sin. That's right. So That's Jesus right. uh, was born in a manner, manner that he, was, he, he made, made his bed with the poor so, so the poor, poor could uh, communicate with him. And, and, and uh, the rich that desire to could be saved also. That's right. Whosoever will. That's right. Jesus came for whosoever will. He died for the world, but the whole world will not be saved because they refused to accept the, what? The gift of God, right. which is his son, Jesus. Yes, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. No, this is great, this is great. Uh, the 14th uh, verse of the second chapter of St. Luke said, God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. And yes. that's what he brought, this babe that was in the manger. Mm -hmm. That's what he brought, peace and goodwill to, toward all men, all mankind. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them in heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us not go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger, lying in a manger. Yeah. And, and when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning the child, mm. and all they had heard it wondered, all those things which was told them by the shepherd. But Mary, Mary, the mother of Jesus, yeah. kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying yeah. and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angels before he was conceived in the womb. Yes, and Jesus means that his name, his name is above all names. All names. And at the name of God Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. <clears throat> Whosoever calleth upon the name of Jesus and believe on him shall be saved. saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. That little babe. Yes. So at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that he is Lord. Every knee. Mm -hmm. Not just one. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And if anybody want to come to him right now, you, 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 and even you, especially you, what would they have to do, Bishop? Do what Romans says. Romans 10, 9, and 10. Confess with your mouth 
and believe in your heart, and you shall be saved. Accept the work that he did. He came through 42 generations, suffered, bled, and died for you, 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 and especially you. Mm. You shall be saved. Everybody. Mm. That's why he came, lowly bishop. Yes, lowly. Born in, 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 in a poor man's state. As, as I say, as, as, as having nothing, but had everything ha! because he was the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, mm -hmm. the greatest King. And Herod didn't know that that Jesus' kingdom was not of this world. He had a heavenly kingdom, and he was over all the earth and all all the, all the heavens thereof. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. So, Lord. You accept the word. Bishop said, if you have a million dollars in the bank, and unless you go get it, yeah, it's yours, but you got to go get it. You got to accept it, right? Yeah. You have to accept the work that he done, he's done for you. He died for the whole world, but you have to accept what he's done for you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Joy. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and make the nations prove the glory of his righteousness and the wonders of his love and wonders of his love and wonders and wonders of his love. See you next week. God bless you. We love you. And most importantly, Jesus loved them more. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 Amen.